everybody. My name is Miss Cat, and I'm a teaching artist for the Van Wezel. Today we're going to create a still life painting. Have you ever seen or heard of a still life painting? It's a work of art depicting commonplace natural items such as food, flowers, seashells, and even rocks. It also includes man-made items such as vases, glassware, and books. But before we get started, I'd like to show you the supplies that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use black construction paper and sketch with a white oil pastel. Now, if you don't have these items, that's fine. You can use any color paper. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils to do the project. You could do this project by yourself or with a family member. Also, you can pause the video. You can rewind it if you want to see how something was demonstrated again, or you could pause it right now if you'd like to go and get some art supplies. Now we're going to do our still life painting in the style of the famous Dutch painter, Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh was born in Holland in 1853. He didn't start painting seriously until he was 27 years old. He moved to the south of France in search of sunshine and bright colors. And he found the bright colors there in sunflowers. He loved painting sunflowers. He painted many, many paintings of them throughout his lifetime. This is a print of one of his actual paintings. And if you notice, his sunflowers are a little bit dull. That's because this is a very old painting and it's faded throughout the years. But you'll also notice there's a man-made vase and it's sitting on a table. So this is a very typical still life painting. So let's get started with our still life. You're gonna work on your paper in what's called the portrait position. This is landscape and this is portrait. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a squash circle for the top of my vase. If it wobbles or doesn't look perfect, don't worry because when we fill it in with the oil supplies, it'll be fine. Now, I'm going to do a curve here and a curve here like that and I'm just connecting it at the bottom. There's my vase. Now I'm putting a line across and a line across like that. That's my tabletop. I'm going to put numerous circles in here. And these are the centers of my sunflowers. And I'm going to add a few stems like that before I add the petals in like that. Now, to add the petals, the petals don't all have to match. They can even come right off the page like that. And you want to make them nice and big. If you notice Van Gogh in his painting, he overlapped. He didn't worry about the petals bumping into each other. See how I'm doing that right off the page? And here's a couple more I'm filling in like that. And one more down here. I'm going to add, let that come off the page. It's very, very busy painting like that. And I might even add a leaf right there and maybe a leaf hanging right there. Now, what you want to do is take the oil pastel and all these petals lightly fill in with your pastel. And that's called an underpainting. I'm not going to do all of these, but what you want to do is get that lightly filled in before we move on to the next part of the project. Okay. So now we're ready to add the colors with our oil pastels. Now we're gonna add some color to our still life using oil pastels. So on all the petals where you added in the white, I'm gonna go over it with yellow and you can see how it stands out. And then in the center, I'm gonna add some brown and you can even add black dots on top of that brown to show the seeds of the sunflower. I'm not going to do the whole painting. I'm just going to show you different areas to work in. And you can outline around your sunflowers 
that will make them stand out really well like that and then on the vase using the oil pastels which are so blendable they really do work just like a paint you're just not using a brush see how I'm adding some green in there make it very blendable and that looks like a real vase like that and you can create your own tablecloth you can design it any way you want it could have polka dots you could even put flowers on it I'm just doing some lines across there to show you how much fun you can have working with this and you can add some leaves in I have a few leaves right here and most oil pastels come with two shades of green so then you can add the lighter shade of green also I'm going to add a few stems in going up to the sunflowers like that and then at the very end if you want you can outline the entire painting and that will make it really stand out nice and bright here's my leaf I can even put some details like that onto it so have fun with it and make it your own now that we finished creating our still life together I hope you'll share it with family and friends also you can collect items from around your home and set up your own still life to paint Here's a book that I really like about Vincent Van Gogh's life. It's called Van Gogh and the Sunflowers. It's written and illustrated by Lawrence Anhol. You can find the book at the library or go to the YouTube link that's listed on the screen right now for a read aloud story. I've had a really good time working with you today and I hope it sparked your imagination. I look forward to bringing more art projects to you real soon. Artfully yours, Miss Cat. Take a picture of your artwork and post it on the Van Wezel Facebook page. School time at the Van Wezel. Hashtag artworks anywhere.